What's poppin' everybody? Sam here, and today I'm gonna give you guys one quick tip on how to export high quality videos for Instagram, YouTube, email, using Final Cut Pro. Now this can be done using any post-production software. The steps may be a little bit different, but it should go pretty much the same. As you most likely already know, once you export your project from Final Cut Pro, the file size is quite big, sometimes too big for email, too big that it gives you problems on YouTube, and definitely too big to airdrop or post to Instagram. So what we need to do is we need to export, and then we need to compress while retaining that high quality from the original project. So let's get into it. So here I have a quick reel. This is 15 seconds, so the file size is not gonna be that big, but it still works the same. So once your project is done, everything is in order, we're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to share. Share master file. Down here you can see our project is at 897 megabytes. So now once we export, I usually put a one in front of or at the end of my file name and that's because I know that this is the one we are not going to use. I wanna use this file name for my final file. Once we re-export, we will export without using that one at the end and then that will be our final, we can get rid of this one. Basically the ones that I save with the one get deleted. Let's go make sure we're on desktop, bang. Hit that save, let it export. Like I said, it's a 15 second reel so it will export quickly. So now that we have our project exported via Final Cut, we want to re-export it through QuickTime to retain that same quality but compress the file. Now I know that I'm using a file that's only 890 gigabytes, or sorry, megabytes, but you know, it works the same. Let's say you had a 30 gigabyte project. Now we wanna compress. So now that it opens up in QuickTime, we go to File, and we go export as 4K. I choose the 4K option because my project was 4K, so it allows me to do that. If you didn't shoot in 4K, it would be 1080, 720, and so on. So now once I hit 4K, like I said earlier, I delete that one because this is gonna be my final project file. Save it on desktop as well, bang. Now it's exporting once again via QuickTime. So now once we've exported again, we have both files here. The one with the one was the original. Now we're gonna check the info and we're gonna go to get info on both. So now as you can see, the initial project that was exported from Final Cut is 800 and it actually exported it to 635 megabytes. And then when we exported it again from QuickTime, it shrunk it to 200. It actually shrunk it to 27.4 megabytes. So it's compressing it basically like three quarters of the way. You know what I mean? It's compressing like 70% while still retaining that quality. As you can see here, we'll open them both up side by side. As you can see on the screen here, this video is the initial export. This video is the more compressed version. They are basically the exact same for quality wise. And yeah, that's all you need to do. Export in Final Cut Pro or whatever software you're using, re-export it via QuickTime, and then you are done. You can send that via email, much easier. You can post it on Instagram, AirDrop, YouTube, things like that, very easy. If you like this video, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if this helped. Also, you can let me know down below what else you would like to see. I appreciate it, and I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.